I'm Jackie. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to The Witching Hour. The Witching Hour is a little extension of Dumb Witch Club, where we give you a witchy quickie. What that is, is we take a big topic, break it down into bite-sized pieces, and we have a little sip of something to drink. I always feel like I have to vary the way I say it. <laughs> you my do. <laughs> you do, and I never do. I say it exactly the same No, way. you're probably more professional. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Oh, so, no. witching hour. So, and, I mean, okay, I don't like being super cheesy. Yeah. And there are some issues with Pride Month. Yes, there's a bit of, like, rainbow washing happening. Right. Yeah. But I uh, did buy a can of wine that has a rainbow. I mean, it's cute. It's also cute. And to be fair, I don't think they did this for, like, Pride Month. Because they had other colors on other cans, and this one just says rainbow edition. Yeah. So, so anyways, whatever. The point anyways. is, it's cute. We're just kind of representing because... We support it. We support. We're allies. So, this is also interesting because this is wine in a can. This is made by House Wine. It's cute. And it has a little has house, a house on it. <laughs> and it says, Rainbow Edition Rosé Bubbles. Well, so, rose there's bubbles. two six-ounce glasses per can. And it says carbonated. So, nice. we are expecting that. Pretty cool. I know. And it's a nice... Pale pink. Well, I love that as well. Pale pink belongs in the rainbow. Mm, it's probably pretty even pouring there. Yeah, good job. All right. Yeah, so exciting. We're going to... Smells, smells like good. good. Cheers. That's pretty solid. It's yeah. Solid canned wine experience. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in some weird way, you kind of can tell it was in a can. Not in a bad way. Yeah, a little bit. But it doesn't taste like it came out of a glass bottle. Mm-mm. But I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, yeah, it's almost... How do I know? I don't know. It's almost beer-ish, but it doesn't taste like beer. I don't know how to explain that. That sounds... That made no sense. Well, I do think you get a different feeling from a drink, especially depending on what kind of container or vessel yeah. you're drinking it out of sure. or that it came out of. So like if you get soda, even if you get it in a plastic yes. bottle or a glass bottle or a can, those are different experiences. Yeah. that Those like little glass bottle Coca-Colas like hit different. Yeah, totally. I so I think it's a little bit of that, which is fine. It's not a, a criticism, but it's a very tasty wine. It is. I like it. And... Very portable. You could take that to to park, concert, park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what is wrong with me? Concert in the park for summer? Concert, park. Like, what is wrong with me? Yes, I can't talk today. I only had like three sips of this. It's not that. This wine's so good. Gemini season. Yeah, you could take it to a concert in the park. Concert in the park. You can take it in the pool Pool. without, like, you know, you're not supposed to have glass. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, good stuff. I think it's a little bit sweet. Yeah. But a little bit dry, tastes very tasty. It's very, very crowd pleasing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I like it. I dig it. Oh, I like it too. Okay, what do we have for wishing hour today? What do we have? Stars of the stars. Love this. Stars of the stars. Stars of the stars. We love stars of the stars. So, what is stars of the stars? Stars of the stars is where one of us picks a celebrity or somebody that's a star, <laughs> and we look up their astrology, and then the other person has to kind of conjecture what their astrology is. Correct. Okay. So, I noticed in our past people that we have been doing, um, we've been doing a lot of young people, mm, which is I would agree, super cool. Sure. Love the youngs. Of course. But I did it not as a young person. Okay, I But a this. very well-loved, beloved, well-known to everyone person. Her name is Meryl Streep. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. Stars of the stars. I mean, what a star to pick. Thank you. Yes. Does it get much bigger? Not better? really. No, not really. And once again, this has happened to me mm. where I picked the person, looked up the stuff, and it is so appropriate mm-hmm. time-wise. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, what are, you, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this fantastic woman? Uh, she, Yeah, like she's almost literally a luminary herself. Like she's larger than life. Like it's, I mean, just mm-hmm. so incredibly talented. What a career. Mm-hmm. And like an ongoing continued career. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Well, I do know that 
she's got to have quite a work ethic. I mean, Mm -hmm. the amount that she spends preparing and what you end up seeing in the finished product is just amazing. So I, I'm feeling there's Capricorn energy in there somewhere. Okay. All right. You're not far off. Not okay. far off at all. Okay. I also think like her ability to adapt to different roles, different perspectives, everything like that mm-hmm. and put herself into people's shoes and etc. I feel like has a Gemini quality to me. Amazing. Amazing. What else am I feeling? She's so dynamic, though. But in a very, like, reserved. Not reserved, but, like, not overly flashy kind of way. Mm -hmm. But but there's so much dynamicism to her. Okay, all right. Can I? Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm so excited. (laughs) Okay, so her birthday is June 22nd. Okay. So she is technically a Cancer, but she is a Gemini Cancer cuss. Oh. What a, an amazing thing to be. Mercury and Gemini. Wow. Which I think whenever we are talking about these actors, which they usually have been, yes. their Mercury gives so much information totally. into like who they are and how they're presenting, especially because they're actors, they're communicating, they're like presenting stuff. Yes, exactly. Um, moon and Taurus. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there's okay. that earth, earth sign, sign, that groundedness, that kind of like nose to the grindstone, hardworking, like what has to happen here. Mm-hmm. I found this very interesting. Most of the time, we um, lament the fact that a rising sign is not available, mm-hmm. but in her case, it is, mm-hmm. and it was confirmed over a couple different sources, uh-huh. Leo rising. I was going to say, it had to be a fire sign. That's amazing. Yeah, she totally is a Leo rising. Yeah, and so she has every single energy represented in those big three plus Mercury. Yeah. She has a fire, a water, an earth, and an air. She's just a boss-ass bitch. Yes. Like, that's like boss ass bitch energy. Yes. That and I'm combination. amazed that I didn't know when her birthday was. And it's like, soon. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And that yeah. happened to me with somebody else I picked, too. Yeah, it did. And I it don't did. remember who now. At one point. I but, can't either, but it did at that. Yeah. Yes. Wow. What I mean, what can you even say about her? I don't know. Well, everything you already said and more. Mm-hmm. And I think also that Taurus moon really does provide, like, she's so down to earth. Very. She is, like, the biggest star. Yes. And doesn't act like it. No, and she's funny. She's funny. She, like, is self-deprecating, mm-hmm. um, which I think is some of that cancer sun, actually. Like, oh, she's yeah, just that's like, true. Oh, you know, don't, she's like, oh. little old me, you know? Yeah. But in a very genuine sense. Yeah, it does way. not come off fake at all. And it balances out that Leo rising. It does. Because <laughs> that's intense. She also has that, though, like, that she is, she is that girl. Like, she is that yes. girl in the room. Like, and you hear stories about her and always that she's very lovely and wonderful, mm-hmm. but that, like, all eyes are on her. And she her, just walks around with it like, oh, ha, 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 yeah, she you does. know, whatever. But everyone notices her and her laugh is very infectious mm-hmm. and everyone notices that and she just has that quality. I also think that Mercury in Gemini is why she's so good at accents. <laughs> she really, really is. Yeah. She really is. Bridges of Madison County is one of my favorite That is movies. one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, I've talked yeah. to my husband about this. He has never seen it. I can't with that. I and can't I want. With that. Yeah. Anyways, love. Okay. Anyway, also, Mama Mia. Ugh. I mean, Devil Wears Prada. Oh, hello. Hello. Seriously. Anyways, okay. Meryl Streep. Yay. Stars of the Stars. Cheers to her.